Hello, everyone. It is Steve here, the w w w w Wired Flyer, and I break down aviation concepts in the simplest way I possibly can using normal English, not this crazy and confusing textbook language that you might be reading. Now, there are four different factors that cause a left turning tendency in single engine propeller aircraft. And I've made a video on each of these factors, which include the torque effect, asymmetric thrust or P factor, the spiraling slipstream, and this video is on gyroscopic procession. By the end of the video, you will understand it's quite simple when you really break it down. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in. So what is gyroscopic precession when dealing with an aircraft and how does it affect that aircraft? What we have to understand is that a spinning object like a propeller in today's example resists forces in a unique way. And when you apply a force to the spinning object, for example, you pitch the aircraft upwards and the propeller aims upwards there, you're applying a force to the bottom, but that force is delayed and reacts 90 degrees from where the force was produced. Now that might be a little confusing, so let's kind of break that down in simpler terms. So imagine an airplane is flying straight towards the camera right now and you pitch upwards pretty quickly. From the propeller's perspective, there is a force on the bottom pushing it upwards, right? And we have to keep in mind that spinning objects reject forces in a unique way and that force reacts 90 degrees later. So because the propeller is spinning in a clockwise formation from the pilot's view, when you have a force coming from the bottom, which pushes the nose up, that force is going to react 90 degrees after, which is from the left, causing that nose to yaw to the right. And the opposite is true as well. If the airplane is flying straight and you pitch the nose down relatively quickly, there's a force coming from the top. Therefore, that spinning object will react 90 degrees later. And when you pitch downwards, the airplane will actually yaw to the left. Now, viewing the first example, when you are flying straight and you pitch upwards, and you would think that that would cause the airplane to yaw to the right. And that force is causing a yawing to the right, but the airplane actually still turns left or yaws to the left because the other factors that we went over at the beginning of the video, such as the torque effect and asymmetric thrust, as well as the spiraling slipstream, all those forces outweigh the force of gyroscopic precession. So when you pitch up, the airplane actually yaws to the left because those other factors are more dominant in comparison to gyroscopic precession. Also, Gyroscopic precession is temporary and you're only going to notice it when the force is applied. So if there is a force on the bottom of the propeller pushing it upwards, you're going to feel that force and it's going to pull the airplane to the right. But you're only going to feel that while the force is being applied while you're pitching. So there you have it. You probably have a good foundation of gyroscopic precession and a better understanding of how it works. Gyroscopic precession is not quite as complex as some of the textbooks make it seem. So I'd just like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos on left turning tendencies, go ahead and go to my page and check those out. And please like the video and subscribe for more aviation content. Until next time, this was Steve, the Wired Flyer. And don't forget, stay curious, keep learning, and chase your dreams. Let's go.